Hey guys, it's Cracker Barrel 1000 here, and I'm going to teach you how to do that cool little fadey effect that I've used in a few of my videos, like in My Soul Your Beats, and also in my latest one of uh, that corpse party opening of Where the Flowers Bloom, or something like that. It's a really cool effect that you guys seem to really like and have asked me many times how I do it, so I'm going to show you. So what you're going to want to do first is open up PMX Editor, and then open the model that you want to add this facial to, to make her fade out. So you're going to need the PMX Viewer open, and also the Transformer View open. To get Transformer View open, all you do is click the little T in the top right corner of the little window, which, if you don't see a T, then you can just click the three little arrows up there and you'll see a T pop up down below. And just click it and the Transformer View will open. The reason why you need Transformer View open is because you need to check and make sure that the facial you're going to add is going to work. That being said, let's add the facial. So in order to add a facial, you're going to want to go under the tab Morph. And in the little box at the side, you're going to right click in there and hover over New and go down to Materials and click it. This will add a new facial and you can rename it to whatever you want to. Uh, I'm going to name mine Fade Model because that's what we're doing. And I'll make sure to do it under the English tab so it doesn't also come up as like a null or something like that. Great, now in the second box here, we're going to either click this little plus down here at the bottom, or right click inside the box and click add. Either way works, it's just whatever is easier for you. Then beside material morph, you're going to click edit, and make sure that multiply is selected, because if you click add, it'll do some strange thing and make your model white. So hit multiply, and then go to the side and put opacity and reflect at zero. Then you go to transform view and make sure that the morph works. Down in the facial thing, you're going to want to click on the facial and then, you know, mess around with it a bit and see if it's to your liking. There's nothing that you can really do about the patches that'll show up in various parts of your model, but, you know, that's whatever. Make sure you save your model, and I would recommend saving your model as a separate file from the original file that you just edited. Just because you never know what glitches will happen or, you know, if something goes terribly wrong with it, just so that you have that extra copy of the model. Now moving on to MMD, where you'll actually add the effect in, and it'll look magnificent, because I love this effect. Load up the model that you just edited and make her fade out for about 15 frames. So at frame 15, register the model fading out. Once you've done that, add in the effect Object Luminous Afterglow, which it'll show up as AG or something like that. I don't know, OL Afterglow or something. It'll be labeled as something in the files. Now that you've added it under Accessory Manipulation, go up to the top right corner where it says MME Effects or MM Effects and click Effect Mapping. And then there'll be another little tab in the window and click that where it says OL Afterglow and on, on the model, remove the effect and she'll start glowing like crazy. That's okay, because you can just change the transparency of the effect under accessory manipulation. You can adjust it to however you want, but um, I usually keep it at 0.1 so that you can still see the character's shape and you know her, uh, her features, kind of. Once that's all figured out, Click Register under Accessory Manipulation, and you'll be good to go. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me all this time. I know I take so long sometimes to post up a video or a motion, but you guys have stuck with me no matter what. So thank you so much for that. And I can't believe we're almost reaching 30,000 subscribers. That's bonkers. But I really appreciate it and all the feedback that I get from you guys. I'm glad I can produce things that you guys really seem to enjoy watching. And I hope I can keep it up. I'm trying my best to balance out my time for things. Links are in the description of the different places you can follow me on, Twitter, Tumblr, and DeviantArt, as well as my other channels that I use and plan to use more often for the future once I have everything figured out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope this helped. See you next time!